wanna test your luck with me I think I've had enough disease I'm sick of all the bad thoughts People who are half guns You are not as tough as <laughs> Hello folks, it's Gameplay Horizon here and once again, welcome back to my Eternal Evolution channel. Summit Arena just ended and we have a new champion in our cluster which is Zod and congratulations to him. I voted for him because I already know that I cannot win in this battle and we can review later the replay battles, the hero composition, and the equipment that he used so that players and other servers will have some insights in building their team. Meanwhile, we don't have patch notes, but these are the following events that are happening now. The return to the giant event is now on, in which the game chose Bailey Hudson as the exchange hero rewards in this event. The Quantum Mimic Machine event is now active and the main rewards are Mishrani and the Horn of Healing prototype. The opening of the Hero Rally, which was previously called the Recruitment Event, is now active on some servers, and this is the right time to spend your tickets because Giant Tower and Hero Rally events are active in order to maximize the rewards using your limited and advanced tickets. The game changed the second limited recruitment event from Pandemonium to Bailey Hudson, and if you love to play Assassins, then this is the best time to get both Bailey Hudson and Dominic. My Bailey Hudson is already maxed out so my only option here is to purchase a Gene Hybrid in this event. Going back to our main topic, in the past seasons, I always ranked number 4 and it is a great achievement for me today to be ranked 2 and we can now review these amazing battles. Since I already know I have no match with Zod, I used a majestic set on my assassins considering that I will have a 33% chance to fight with Zod's hunter team and my main purpose here is for the content of hunters versus assassins, but unluckily those two synergies did not face each other. I really love the idea of using hunters in PvP especially in the summit arena and he is using a level 49 attract beholder prototype and all of his heroes here are in EX30 except for the hero boar and this is the best setup in my opinion. We can check this replay and my team here with Nord, Pande and Liran is for the anti vanguard team but unluckily it faced the hunter team which is its weakness. But anyway, we can clearly see here how devastating these hunter heroes are, and take note that Attract Beholder at max level does not have a cooldown anymore on attack increase, making hunter heroes with multi-strike attacks like Prigger, Moriami, and Rosaris deal intense damage. I am building a hunter team too for Twilight Lands and Summit Arena purposes and Prigger and Moriami are free heroes just like Rez and you can make them to max talents without spending any limited tickets or gene hybrids. Next is the best hero composition for vanguards and this team is very tough in any situation with EX30 nafing which is the core hero for vanguards. The EX30 Creek is the tank debuffer in which it activates Nafing's passive skill. The EX30 Leo which is the damage dealer. The EX30 Serena which is the defense buff healer and EX30 Bada which negates lethal damage two times and have intense healing capabilities and damage reductions. Adding a level 60 Prism Amulet makes this team very solid versus any other teams even with summoner teams. Check this battle because for me, this is the best battle I've ever seen because I am using max talents on Leo, on Pooh and Daniel but still it failed because Zod's Bada heals his Leo so much and level 60 Prism Amulet works great. To those who don't appreciate Bada, then maybe now you have to think twice. Seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain, some things are not the same. As they were a year ago But I'll be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago I've changed for the better this time I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright and for the first time in a long time, I'm alright. 
Last is the replay of my assassin team and I laugh about this, hoping that it will face the hunter team of Zod. But anyway, I am still happy with the results of the Summit Arena in which all players have a chance to be at the top because aside from being strong, you will also need luck in placing your teams. In this energy versus assassin team, I think this is a close battle and majestic set for assassins is also viable not only the Marauder set but still level 4 or higher Phantom Cloak is needed in order for assassins to flourish. I would also like to congratulate to the players who are in my Discord server who entered in the top 8 of the Summit Arena in different regions and servers. And I featured all of you after this PvP video replay. Congratulations to all of you, and until then, thank you.